How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss for the win as you guys already know that and this is going to be another episode of some Black Ops 2 news and insight. Now I'm apologizing for not posting as much as I do on a normal basis. I've only, I think I've only posted four videos this week but um, I do have some excuses. There have been some games that have come out recently. Um, more specifically uh, Assassin's Creed 3 and Medal of Honor Warfighter and I want to be able to enjoy those games before in about five or six days I'm uh, drawn into the world of Call of Duty for about uh, two straight months, I will say. I probably will not play anything for about two straight months because um, I'm going to just be totally devoted to whatever Black Ops 2 has to offer. And in a second, you're going to see me get killed by a guy who is the complete and utter definition of a camper, and it's really frustrating. You'll know exactly who it is. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about a few things that came out like a few days ago. I didn't want to make a video because, you know, they came out in bits and pieces, but now that all the information is together... Uh, I figured that I would give you a little bit of what I'm talking about. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the map list. I'll have a picture right now. Um, obviously, you can see all the maps. We really already knew that. That's why I wasn't really talking about. There's 15 maps if you include um, if you include Nuketown 2025. I'm sure there'll be more with other DLC, so we'll just have to see. The next one is the uh, the game mode, so your, your standard ones. Team Deathmatch, Free For All, Domination, Demolition, Kill Confirmed, Hardpoint, Headquarters, Capture the Flag, Search and Destroy. I really like those. Uh, obviously, those are going to be games that I will all end up playing because they look and they sound good. All of them are fun. I'll be sure to get a lot of gameplay for you guys uh, in that aspect. And then the next one, the last thing I really want to talk about. I know this is a short episode, but there's not a ton out right now. So it's David Vonderhard offers prestige tips and live stream rules. So if you didn't know, you can live stream through Black Ops 2 now, and they're going to be giving you the chance to be the first one to reach the 10th prestige, level 55, known as the Prestige Master. So it looks pretty cool. Um, David Vonderhard gave some pro tips for prestiging. I agree with him. His first one is pre-order. You get Nuketown 2025, and you'll have double XP. Uh, fourth one. Prestige the weapons you're having success success with. So find two or three really good weapons that you like, that you're good with, that you feel comfortable with. Work on those. Complete challenges. They give you lots of XP. And then, um, you know, race to become the Prestige Master because you get bonus XP when you do that. And then he says, uh, for the live streaming tips, don't post uh, or stream before the game is released on November 13th. Obviously, that doesn't count. Uh, the It's like you start at midnight your local time. So you don't have to wait on the uh, Pacific Coast time uh, for those people. You can just go ahead and start whenever you want live streaming. So it's pretty cool because I remember back in 2010, Machinima did a live stream first to, uh, I think it was 15th Prestige in Black Ops. Yeah, it's 15th Prestige in Black Ops. So... They did a live stream to that, and they had like a bunch of different employees on at the same time, and it took them like uh, 26 days, I think, to complete it, uh, which is awesome. And it takes a long time if you think about it, because you know they're constantly switching off people, they're trying to do weird challenges. Not all the employees are qualified, so it's going to be awesome to see how fast some of you guys can reach 10 prestige. But you know. I'm not going to try to go as fast as I can, obviously that's what she said, but um, you know, I'm going to try to savor the moment, that's what she said, uh, because I want to enjoy this game and I want to um, you know, go at a, a slower pace than others, I guess. Man, there are so many that's what she said sexual windows uh, when I'm trying to describe that, but that's okay, we're just going to keep rolling. Anyways guys, my name is Mr. Boss of the Wind. This video is coming to a close. I just want to say thank you for all the support on my last few videos. The Iron Man vs. FPS Russia, the one after that, and the one before that. They've gotten so many great reviews and like likes and all that. It's been awesome guys. I appreciate your support. Drop a like if you think it's worth it. Other than that, I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day, and I will see you in the next video.